The 2018 Lexus LS500 is an excellent luxury sedan, but it's missing that V8 and it's missing that power that could really push it into the area of a performance luxury sedan, which is kind of where it seems to be wanting to go. It's a little bit of a mixed bag in terms of what does it want to be. It really excels in comfort mode when it's just super luxurious. The interior is phenomenal, it looks nice on the outside. I really love the look of the F-Sport package, but that $6,000 F-Sport package only gives you cosmetic upgrades. You're not getting more horsepower, you're not getting more performance. You get the, the nicer look and you get a really cool interior moving gauge that goes across. But at the end of the day, you don't have more horsepower with that F-Sport package, which may leave some buyers questioning whether it's worth that $6,000 extra. Inside the 2018 LS500 is incredibly luxurious. There's soft touch surfaces throughout. There's a really beautiful design from the door. And I really love in the center how this aluminum accent runs all the way across. And then there's this cutout in the middle area of the dash and everything just kind of flows together and looks really nice. There's a big, beautiful 12.3 inch screen in the center. Now the downside is you have to use Lexus's infotainment system, which is this touchpad to control it. It's distracting while you're driving and can even be frustrating when you're parked. The comfort and the luxury carries over to the rear seat where there's plenty of legroom and space for two adults. I really like that you get the same look on these rear doors and throughout the rear of the car as you do up front so that no matter where you sit in the LS500, you get that same feeling. There's a big full color heads up display. While I like the big 12.3 inch screen that you can split into showing two different things at the same time, the trackpad controls aren't that great and they can be very frustrating to use while you're driving. There's also no support for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto that's available on some 2019 Lexus models, but it's not coming, as far as we know, as a retroactive feature to the LS500. That's a quick look at the LS500. You can check out our full review in the links that are on your screen now or with the link in the description down below.